Bill, what, what was a fault during that time? You're like for with Crockett and these different uh, regional territories at the time. What was the fault like leading up to say WrestleMania about Vince McMahon Jr. and what was going on with the business? Oh, well, see, that's very easy. Vince Sr. had told me at, uh, at an NWA convention uh, that, that to talk to his son, they're not going to lock us out magazines, right? Ole Anderson would come over to my table and say, you're going to believe that bullshit? So Ole was the first person that kind of told me, he says, not only are they locking your ass out, they're going to try and lock every freaking territory out. That's the first I heard of any of the, I mean, that's what your question was, right? About one thing. Yeah, what was the faults uh, of in the territories and what was the feeling? Well, Jimmy Crockett's territory was very healthy at that point. And Jimmy, with Dusty in the office there, felt very strongly that they could compete, you know, with whatever Vince is going to do. And, th and they did, you know, Starcade came before WrestleMania. So uh, the other territories, when I was there, Bill Watts would call me into his office and ask, you know, what are they doing up there? What do you think Junior's going to do? Fritz von Erich asked me that. Um, a lot of the promoters were uh, uh, Jarrett and Lawler. They were all very concerned that Vince was going to uh, uh, try and take everything over. So there was an air of maybe they should all try and get together. And, but I always knew that Jim Crockett, even though he agreed to do that whole Pro Wrestling USA thing and everything, I always knew that he was going to break out and try and uh, match what Vince was doing, that he wasn't going to let Vince do what he was doing. They were all concerned about it because, you know, what Vince was doing was getting the best of their, make, trying to make deals with the best of their talent. And again, it was a, it was a, a brutal business move, but uh, yeah. When, when he started that raid, I think that kind of, yeah, that was even before, you know, Jack and I sat down with him when he started the, the talent raid. And that's kind of precipitated what we did, but he started that talent raid raid you know with hogan out in the awa there then 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 our our kind of tipping point was when he got roddy piper oh and yes piper yeah piper was such a star i mean you know the, the flares you can name all those guys you know all those guys that we had that were gigantic but piper stars. was special there was something piper different. was special and yeah. piper was everywhere you know mm -hmm. he's florida mid-atlantic georgia championship wrestling and and when 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 vance jr signed hot rod Jack and I kind of looked at each other because Hot Rod came to us and told us what he was doing. And so we, we had time to really digest what was going on with Hot Rod. Well, and we, we just knew when, when Hot Rod left, left the NWA, that was, that, was, that was the tipping point for Jack and I. McMahon Jr.'s whole thing was, well, why can't we go into Charlotte? Why can't we go into Atlanta? You know, what is it? There's no law. And we just felt filtered to where we where we couldn't make any growth at that time, and then that's what growing business is all about. And we, we knew that Vince would not only ha he had that, that 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 vision, but he could fulfill that vision because he was in the media capital of the world. Yeah, he was at the media capital of the world, but he also had the drive that wasn't just wrestling related. All the other promoters that were on TV, it was all about wrestling. Vince knew, Vince had more drive to get this thing out to a wider audience and not just make it, bring in celebrities, bring in, he had this vision and the other guys didn't have that. They had wrestle vision. They didn't have vision of breaking out and making this into a, a zillion dollar business. You know, he How had, did he get Piper? I mean, they're not just Piper, but everybody, Jerry or, or Bill, either one, you know, those guys were making a ton of money. They're big stars. Was it all about money? It was all about money. Absolutely. That guar guaranteed, guaranteed money. I mean, Piper was making a lot of money, but he didn't know if he'd make 20 grand this week and make $2,000 the following week or $200. That's how our business was. It was predicated on, on the houses. And we couldn't sustain Madison Square Garden on Friday night, Philadelphia on Saturday night, Boston Gardens on Sunday night, you know, uh, LA, we couldn't, we couldn't, uh, we'd have Greensboro, which was a big payoff on s Sunday night. 
Next night, we're in Greenville, South Carolina, or Fayetteville, North Carolina, where you're making fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars. So that guaranteed money. Hey, Rod, you come here. I'll make you. What's your biggest year? I'll make you that plus, you know, and it's sure. guaranteed. Sure. It's, and and that, also, that, that, that guaranteed money. Even though Vince didn't have guaranteed contracts, he was able to show you on paper those, those markets that he was running. And the past history, what the guys were making. That's right. And that's then that's, that's what sold everybody. And that's also it. part of the sell was to a guy like Roddy Piper, who wanted to be on top of the world. You know, we're not just going to be doing wrestling. You're going to be known on MTV. We're trying to work some, you know, he, again, he's, he had other plans. Even, even then, you know, you're right. Roddy had, Roddy had aspirations to be an actor. Yep. I mean, even when I, when I first met him in 72 or 73, 74, somewhere around 80, I'm sorry, not 70, 80, 80, you know, uh, Roddy's, Roddy's dream was be LA and, and, and the movies, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember that. I remember that. So that's, that's another thing that Vince offered these guys, you know, the exposure to Hollywood exposure to that big money.